Job Expo with Congressman Brad Schneider. Today, we will be hearing from six employers hiring for various positions in healthcare. Each employer will speak for five minutes to give you some information about their company and will highlight the job openings they currently have. If you have questions at any time, please type them into the chat and we will address them during the Q&A session that will be taking place after all of the companies have presented. At the end of the QA session, we will hear from the local workforce innovation area and Illinois WorkNet to learn about some additional resources that are available to assist you with your job search. Today's session is being recorded and will be made available in the employer booths for you to refer to at a later date. Now, I'm pleased to introduce Congressman Brad Schneider. Daniel, thank you so much. And I wanna welcome everybody um, to what is day three of our um, virtual job expo. Uh, I want to thank my colleague, State Senator Melinda Bush, for working with me. And, uh, as, as much as it's the two of us, it is much more so our team and our staff. So I want to thank uh, them for uh, doing all this work. The Illinois Department of Employment Security, the Illinois Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity, the Job Center of Lake County, Illinois WorkNet, and Southern Illinois University. Uh, this is all a very much a team effort. So thank you. And uh, to everyone who's uh, joining us today, um, I hope, as always, that uh, you are doing well, you and your lo loved ones in this difficult time. Uh, this has been uh, not just a health crisis, uh, the pandemic has caused an economic crisis. Uh, word today that there will be 19,000 uh, layoffs at uh, American Airlines is just one of many stories we hear of people who, who are um, struggling. One of the things we are working hard to do is, is finding ways to get people back to work. Uh, whether that is policy coming out of Washington, working here in the state, and as we're doing today, working to, to present different possibilities. Uh, my top priority is, is working uh, to find ways to get people back to work, creating new jobs and growth opportunities uh, in the 10th district, in our state, and, and across the country. Um, we normally host job fairs throughout the year in person. We've done them at uh, Oakton Community College, at, uh, in Waukegan, and in Zion. Uh, obviously, this year with COVID, that's changed everything. Uh, so we can't be together in person, but we look for a way to try to, to bring opportunities to folks who are, are, are looking for um, new positions or possibly new careers. And that's what this week is, is about. Uh, we've organized this as our first ever virtual job fair. Uh, it is possibly one of the most important ones we've ever done because of this current uh, economic situation. Uh, we have unprecedented unemployment in entire industries. I mentioned uh, the airline industry. We're seeing it affecting uh, healthcare, as we're going to talk today. We're seeing it affecting um, uh, 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 entertainment and hospitality. Uh, in our fair, we have more than 50 employers participating uh, this week with positions, more than 275 positions. Uh, but today, we're going to focus on, on healthcare. It is the biggest employer in our district. Um, uh, it, Walgreens in our district is, is one of the, the largest employers with 3,500 employees. It's the most of any employer in Illinois, uh, 10th Congressional District. Uh, so we'll start there. I'm pleased to introduce Sean Gray uh, from Walgreens. Walgreens was founded a, a century ago in 1901, more than a century. Uh, has a long, rich history in our community and in our nation. Uh, invented the world's first chocolate malted milkshake. Thank you for that. Uh, and is also has developed some of the most popular and sophisticated um, mobile applications in retail shopping today. Uh, the, the company has transformed the retail and drug industries. It's one of the nation's largest drugstore chains. It's included in the Retail Pharmacy USA division of Walgreens Boots Alliance, which is the first global pharmacy-led health well-being enterprise uh, in the world. In addition, Walgreens was recognized as a Fortune magazine's uh, Change the World list in 2019, and Walgreens Boots Alliance has been ranked number 18 among 2019's Hot 100 retailers in the National Retailers Federation Stores magazines. So with no further ado, let me turn it over to Sean. Uh, thank you, Brad. Appreciate it. Thank you guys for having us uh, join the event this year. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, as always, we, you know, as you said, we're, uh, we're actually from Illinois. I don't know if you guys know, but our our founder was actually born in Dixon, Illinois. So uh, Illinois is very near and dear to our hearts. Uh, again, my name is Sean Gray. I've been, with, I've been with Walgreens for 21 years. I've been in five different leadership positions. Uh, I started in 1999 uh, as, an, as an MGT, uh, just straight out of college. Uh, I got quickly promoted within a year to assistant store manager. 
Uh, a couple years later, I became a store manager. I then took over a, a role we had that was uh, for five years, was called Community Leader. Uh, we did many different community events. I oversaw six Walgreens stores uh, until about 2015 when I became a district manager. So uh, it's been a great 21 years. Uh, Walgreens does offer several different uh, positions, uh, especially across Illinois. Right now we're currently looking for customer service associates, uh, technicians, shift leads, uh, store managers. Uh, we offer quite, a, quite an array of, of positions. Uh, the great thing about joining our company is that we have a lot of different options for uh, training. Uh, we pay for a lot of different licenses. Uh, if you're interested in a technician position, right uh, now, we have a to to program to support that. It lasts about four months long. It uh, gives you in-depth training uh, for that position. Uh, it's kind of nice because with Walgreens, you can go anywhere, uh, pretty much anywhere in the U.S., uh, almost anywhere in the world now. Uh, if you're looking to transfer, uh, if you're looking for different positions, really the sky's the limit. Uh, we offer Walgreens University. If you're looking to grow and, and, and really develop in different areas, uh, it's a great opportunity and it's, it's free, of, uh, free of charge. So uh, for position views, you guys are looking for anything specific, uh, go to walgreens.jobs. Uh, that will type in your city and that will help you find uh, what the available positions are in our stores. Uh, if you're near the Deerfield area, uh, that is our, our corporate office is, is based out of there, uh, you'll be able to find those positions uh, logged in there as well. Uh, also, we have a lot of our, all our postings are on Indeed as well, uh, so another great website to leverage. So that's what we have. Any, any questions you guys have for us, please let us know. Great, thank you. Um, for, for that, uh, Sean, I, I appreciate it. And as I said, we're, we're very happy Walgreens founded in our state and, 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 and uh, a part of our community. Uh, our, our next um, company is uh, Baxter International, uh, also uh, in Deerfield, but uh, with a facility in Round Lake. It's a Fortune 500 uh, company, American company uh, in the healthcare field. Headquarters, as I mentioned here in Deerfield with a very sophisticated, very fascinating manufacturing campus in Round Lake. The company primarily focuses on products to treat hemophilia, kidney disease, immune disorders, and other chronic and acute medical conditions. So with no, no further ado, let me turn it over to Kendra. Uh, Kendra Stackhouse, it's all yours. Awesome, thank you so much. We are so excited to be part of the first virtual job expo. Um, Baxter is a global healthcare company headquartered in Deerfield, Illinois. And we have multiple sites, including Round Lake and Vernon Hills, and just a hop, skip, and a jump across the border in Bloomington, Indiana. And next slide, please. So at Baxter, we employ over 50,000 across 100 countries connected by an enduring commitment to save and sustain lives. Our area of focuses are critical, nutritional, surgical, hospital, renal care, and also direct delivery. Next slide, please. So at Baxter, we believe it's important to have guiding principles on how we do what we do. And we do that by our one force Baxter multiplier. And that's broken down into four sections. So the top section is our patient safety and quality, growth and innovation, best place to work, and industry-leaning performance. Our second focus is our strategy, always being ahead of the game, and compliance and ethics, and our four culture levers of speed, courage, simplicity, and collaboration. At Baxter, we have a great total compensation package for both our part-time and full-time employees, which includes dental and medical, an employee stock purchase at an awesome 15% discount, a 401k, a flexible spending account. We have an um, exceptional educational assistance program, Baxter Credit Union, paid holidays and paid time off, paid parental leave, adoption reimbursement, and center-based child care, as well as a great commuter benefit discount. So our first facility is our Round Lake facility, which is our drug delivery building. In this building, employees mix drug powder into liquid form and then fill it into IV bags in an aseptic process. Some of our uh, main openings are within our engineering quality and IT space. Um, we currently have a process engineer open, principal systems engineer, and a senior manager of operational excellence. In our quality division, we have a laboratory, laboratory associate, a validation associate, and a senior quality manager. Also, associate research um, a position is available in cybersecurity. 
our most frequent positions that we continuously fill for um, are going to be our quality associates and our operations, our manufacturing technicians, production technicians. And the starting pay for the production technician is around 2070, and for material handlers, it's 1725. Our Bloomington, Indiana position, um, our, our most frequent positions are going to be our operators, which are going to be off shifts for 1550, and then our maintenance technicians at 52,000. And for this facility, they focus on active pharmaceutical ingredients. And like I said, it's a hop, skip, jump, and away. So if you know someone in that area, definitely recommend them to that manufacturing site. Our next area is patient delivery, which is based out of Waukegan. Um, this position is gonna focus on our CDL delivery drivers. They focus on delivering dialysis to our dialysis equipment to our um, diverse home patient and kidney-based centers. Um, the responsibilities are rotation of stock, order accuracy, and occasional order pickup and return. For this position, um, you will need to be 21 years of age, have a high school diploma or equivalent, a valid Class A or Class B CDL, and a minimum of one year driving. Um, the shifts are four 10-hour shifts or five eight-hour days. The most common is going to be our four 10-hour shifts. This position is physically demanding um, and does require delivery in urban and rural locations. And next up, we have a position that's near and dear to my heart because I directly recruit for it. It's our pharmacy a technician position. This is a great entry-level starting position. Um, this position is going to focus on our fulfillment for customer products, inquiries, calls, and services for our renal department. Um, this is a Monday through Friday, a 9.30 to 6 position. Um, if you have experience managing um, telephone calls, fax, electronic, web, call center environment, this is a great um, position for you. Uh, four to six years customer service experience is needed, a strong ability to multitask, and then to be proficient in product and therapy knowledge. The awesome thing about this position is Baxter will pay for you to obtain your licensing. You do have to become certified within two years, but Baxter will cover um, the cost and it's in-class training. Um, this position does require mandatory overtime. Do have about and one I'll have just a little video and then I'll be done. Did we lose the video? Were you guys gonna play the video for us? I believe we are currently out of time to go through that video, but we will attach that video to the employer booth as a link. Um, and then we're going to be sharing the link to that employer booth in the chat so that everybody can view that video after our webinar today. Awesome. Thank you. Okay, thank, thank you so much, Kendra. Thank you, Kendra. That, that was great. Um, literally just moving up the road, uh, 294 uh, to uh, Abbott. And Abbott Park, uh, I, I'm pleased to introduce uh, Aparna Narayan. Uh, Abbott's a global healthcare leader that helps people live more fully in all stages of life. The portfolio of life changing technology spans the spectrum of healthcare with leading businesses and products in diagnostics, medical devices, nutritionals, and branded generic medicines. 107,000 colleagues are people in more than 160 companies. And with that, let me turn it over to um, Aparna uh, Narayan. Parna, I think uh, the mute may still be on. We're not hearing you. And I apologize, everyone. The, the joy of uh, doing things by Zoom is we always run into these mute issues. Can I'm you hear me to, okay now? We hear you now perfectly. So it's Perfect. All yours. So thank you. Uh, thank you for the introduction there. Um, myself, Aparna Narayan, I'm part of the Global Talent Acquisition um, Organization here at Abbott. Um, I'm based um, at Abbott headquarters in Illinois. So very glad to be here to talk a little bit about my organization and also introduce you to um, the type of opportunities that we have open and we are hiring for right now in Illinois. Um, so if we, if we could move to the slide one, there you go. Um, so as you can see from the slide, um, we are a global healthcare organization that helps people live uh, more fully at all stages of life. Um, we are over 100,000 employees worldwide and we've been in business over 130 years. Um, we are one of the um, original companies in the Fortune 500 list that still remains on that list today, so very proud of that. 
Um, and we've been serving people um, in over 160 countries um, worldwide. So truly a global footprint. Um, if you look at our uh, products and businesses, it spans across um, med devices, diagnostics, um, nutrition, as well as branded generic medicine in the emerging market. And overall, uh, we are over 30 billion uh, in sales. Uh, next slide, please. Um, this slide gives you a, a quick snapshot about the type of work that we do and our um, full array of life-changing technologies. Um, we have products such as our nutritional products that is catered for people that right from infancy all the way to adulthood. So you might be very familiar with products such as Pediasure, Similac. Um, if you look at our medical devices um, technologies, we have used advanced technologies to keep hearts and arteries healthy, to treat chronic pain, movement disorders, and to give people with diabetes uh, better insights and more freedom um, and less pain. Um, and our branded generic medicine is primarily in the, in the emerging markets today, um, and that is uh, part of the um, is our established pharmaceutical group. Um, our diagnostics uh, products you pr you would primarily see that in hospitals, clinics, reference labs, and it gives physicians uh, more information to guide effective treatment decisions. Coming to the exciting part and the main reason why we are here today is to talk about the opportunities we have available in uh, Illinois. We are having a production ramp up within our diagnostics business. Um, so as you can see on the slide, um, all the positions that we are hiring for today are contract positions. Um, these are long-term contracts and with um, being at Abbott, I started as a contractor at Abbott um, seven years ago, eventually converting to PERM. So if the performance is there and um, if, if you are interested in coming on uh, board PERM, there's always that opportunity down the line, but, uh, but these positions would start off as contract positions. And as you can see from the slide, we have several type of positions open today. Um, this will support the ramp up for our diagnostic business, such as production specialist, material handler, quality assurance technician, so if I start with the production specialist role, um, these are the roles that we have a shift. So we have a day shift and we have night shifts for PS1. And we're looking for people with high school um, diploma and we have training uh, for these individuals. You will be performing um, assembling of components and devices um, for the final product. Material handlers, as you can see, um, we're looking for people with good understanding of um, GMP practices. Uh, people who can pack and ship our customers' orders. Uh, we're looking for people with high school diploma um, and people who have any forklift experience. Um, that is a good, nice to have. Quality assurance technician, and if you move on to the next slide, um, quality assurance specialist. Both these roles require a bachelor's degree. We're looking for people that have at least worked in a med devices or a diagnostics organization in a quality department for at least um, a couple of years to be considered for this uh, position. Uh, these people would be performing various activities to support the quality management um, system. Moving on, uh, production team lead role. Um, as the title suggests, these are lead positions where you'll be managing um, a few individuals. Um, you'll be providing guidance to the team and overseeing and coordinating the work of the employees in a specific production area. We're looking for people with high school diploma for this position. Uh, maintenance technician two, uh, this is our um, tech two employees that would be providing troubleshooting support on production equipment. We need people who has the ability to interpret blueprints, equipment manuals, and wiring diagrams. We're looking for people with high school diploma. Again, maintenance tech two will also be a shift uh, position. And the last slide, you can see, um, where you can apply for this position. So you click on those first link, it takes directly to these um, job postings. So you don't have to do any further filtering. You will see the positions there, their basic requirements. I have also included the mailbox. So in case if you're interested in Abbott in general, but don't qualify for the positions that we talked about, but is open to come to Abbott as a contractor, you can always send a quick email to the mailbox provided here. And the last one is the link to the virtual booth where you will find Abbott's website. You will find some documents attached there to learn a little bit more about Abbott. 
Um, and all the links that provided here would also be in the uh, Abbott virtual booth. Thank you. Great, thank you, Aparna. And um, our next company, I'm pleased to introduce Advocate Healthcare. Uh, Nina Griffiths uh, will speak on their behalf. Advocates named among the nation's top five large health systems based on quality by Truven Analytics and is the largest health system in Illinois. Our, our faith-based not-for-profit health system is based in Downers Grove. Advocate has the largest emergency and level, level one trauma network in Illinois. Advocate offers more than 250 sites of care with 12 acute care hospitals, including a children's hospital and two campuses in the state's largest integrated children's network, uh, as well uh, in, in our district, the 10th district. Uh, it is one of the, uh, I think it is the only uh, level one trauma center at Condell. So with uh, no further ado, let me introduce Nina. Hi, this is actually Rachel. I'll be speaking on behalf of Nina today. So um, thank you for having us. Yes, Condell Medical Center, you guys probably are all familiar with. Um, we are the only level one trauma center in this area. So very excited to um, speak on behalf of Condell along with Advocate Healthcare in general. Um, next slide, please. So we're looking for individuals in really any type of position. We have temporary opportunities um, to help screen the COVID patients. We're looking for permanent roles in housekeeping, food and nutrition, um, certified nursing assistants. If you're a nurse, we have opportunities as well. So we're, we're looking for someone who's eager and willing to learn, a team player, patient focused, especially right now um, as we have visitor restrictions, we're looking for an individual that is going to be compassionate someone's gonna, that's going to be comfortable working with a COVID patient, of course, with the correct PPE, um, who's someone, someone who's flexible, looking to stay a long time, um, and excellent customer service skills. All right, so uh, we always like to talk a little bit about a resume. Make sure that when you're applying for positions with us, you always provide, if you're in school, what um, certifications do you have or what are you taking? Um, for example, we know for nursing assistants right now, there is a backlog. So we are um, considering those, those individuals looking for an opportunity on a case-by-case -case scenario. Um, are, do you have any diplomas, high school diploma, GD, GED, et cetera? Um, what type of experience do you have in the uh, working field along with, of course, healthcare experience and um, also looking for the, the dates that you are, you have been employed by the previous employers. So for the hiring process with Advocate Aurora Health, um, you want to go online and apply and create a profile with an updated resume. You'll um, be set up for a phone interview with a recruiter. Um, it's a little different right now. We're doing all virtual um, video interviews for the hiring manager interview and peer team. So they will give you a realistic job preview via um, Zoom or Microsoft Teams um, due to the limited amount of individuals, of course, and being able to be in the hospital at this time. And then um, once you receive an offer with us, you have 10 days to do the onboarding paperwork, background check, and um, pre-employment physical and drug screen as well. So you can apply at jobs.advocatehealth.com. Like I said, we have Condell Medical Center, we have Good Shepherd, we have Lutheran General, um, all, all in your guys' neighborhoods. Um, once you've completed the application on our website, um, you can go, you can email us and let us know. Myself and Nina will get back to all the job seekers that are interested um, at ahc-applicantsourcing at advocatehealth.com. Um, and we will give you that guaranteed phone interview. You'll just need to make sure that you do, you do email us and let us know so we, we are notified that you attended this event today. Lastly, um, like many of the other organizations here today, we offer education assistance for our all part-time and full-time employees. Um, you receive a yearly merit increase. That's something we're proud of this year that we were still able to give everyone a yearly merit increase along with maintaining, um, if you were on furlough this year during, during COVID, you received your full pay through July, um, middle of July. You receive a referral bonus. So if you know an individual that works at Advocate Aurora Health right now, make sure they refer you. So there, 
um, eligible for 300 to a 10K refer a friend bonus. Um, we have a 401k that advocate matches. We have a healthcare credit union, cell phone discount, and then yearly family and friends appreciation. Um, it's once a year for a month. We have different things that go on during that family and friends appreciation week. All right, that is all. Thank you for having us today. Great, um, thank you. And again, that was uh, Rachel Fact. Sorry about the uh, name confusion. Uh, now we're gonna oh, move, okay. we're gonna move um, from uh, Libertyville in my district to Lincolnshire, just down the road to Sedgebrook. Um, Sedgebrook is a senior life, senior living life plan community, also known as a continuing care retirement community, located on a picturesque seventy-two acre campus in Lincolnshire, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago's North Shore. Owned by Senior Care Development LLC and managed by Life Care Services LLC, Sedgebrook is strengthened by a high degree of experience in senior living and the stability of these two industry leading organizations that are committed to providing and maintaining an exceptional environment in which every resident thrives. And on a personal note, uh, when I go and visit with residents of Sedgebrook, when you talk about thriving, they ask some of the best questions of any group I visit. So it's a wonderful <laughs> place. Let me turn it over to Cedrica Fields. Hi, are you able to hear me okay? We hear you great. All right, awesome. Hi, my name is Cedrica Fields. I'm a recruiter here for Sedgebrook. Um, I have been here since the end of January, so I'm still pretty new to, uh, to this facility, but I love it here so far. Um, so we are recruiting, or I am recruiting for CNAs to work in our assisted living facility, which is called Radford Green at Sedgebrook. Um, it's located on the same campus. Um, as anyone in the healthcare industry knows that CNAs are pretty hard to come by right now, so we are, you know, working very hard to try to find the best CNAs we can, you know, can find to work with our residents here. Um, so we do have positions open for full-time and PRN. PRN uh, means as needed or on call. Um, right now we do have a hiring bonus for $1,000 for full-time CNAs. Um, so if you're hired as full-time, you will receive that uh, $500 payout at 30 days and then the other 500 at 90 days. Also, we do offer a uh, $1,000 referral bonus. So if you are an employee of ours um, and you refer full-time CNA, you will also receive $1,000 for that referral as well. Um, we do offer uh, full-time benefits for our full-time uh, employees here, which include medical, dental, vision, disability, 401k, um, paid holidays, also tuition reimbursement. So many of our CNAs are going to school to be uh, RNs or LPNs, so we will assist you in obtaining uh, in obtaining your career goals there. Um, so the qualifications that we do have for this position, um, you have to have a completion of an Illinois State Approved Nursing Assistant Program and also registration with the Illinois State Healthcare Worker Registry is also required. Um, the starting rate for this position is $14.50. However, we are increasing that to, uh, increasing that $1.50 on September 6th. So, our current CNAs will be getting a, a bump up in pay, and if you are a new hire of ours, you will also uh, will be seeing that the new rate of pay as well. Um, we do have um, day shift, evening shift, and overnight shifts available. So our day shifts are seven to three, evening shifts are three to eleven, and our overnight shifts are eleven to seven. Uh, we do have twelve-hour and eight-hour uh, shifts available as well. Um, just a little more information about Radford Green. Um, we were rated one of the best nursing homes in Illinois in uh, 2018 to 2019 by U.S. News and World Report. In addition, we were listed as a top five-star rated nursing home uh, by Medicare.gov in 2018. So we do have a tradition of excellence and a focus on providing a high level of care for our residents. So, I mean, if you are hospitality, uh, you know, oriented, we would love to have you here with us. And that's all I have. If you guys have any questions, just let me know. Thank you. Great, thank you, Cedrica. And our next uh, is Vista Health System in Waukegan, Illinois. Uh, Julianne Nagel will be our presenter. Vista Health is a community healthcare provider. It's a network that includes Vista Medical Center East, the Vista Lindenhurst Vista. Campus, uh, that includes the Vista Ambulatory Care Center, Lindenhurst Surgery Center, the Vista Freestanding Emergency Center, and the Vista Medical Office Building. The health system also serves locations for imaging, patient therapy, and physician practices. And so let me turn it over to Julianne Nagel. 
great. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Thanks for having me here today. Um, it's great to be able to speak on uh, behalf of Vista Health System. We are the community hospital here in uh, kind of real close to downtown Waukegan. We've been, um, you know, a, a pillar in this community for a very, very long time, many decades. Um, we, we consist of the main hospital down here. Um, we're a level two trauma, full service, so we, we really um, cover pretty much all the services that a hospital would um, would include. Um, we also, again, down the street have the Lindenhurst uh, Surgery Center, kind of a day surgery, and a freestanding ER. And then we also have our Vista Physician um, Clinic. So we have about 10, 10 to 12 different clinics across Lake County, which um, provides a lot of job opportunities as well. Um, I will tell you that most of our positions are going to be all clinical. Um, basic, you know, minimum requirement is going to be um, to have a high school diploma, but a lot of the other positions will come with some sort of education where you get certified or you, you get a, a license. Um, similar to some of the other healthcare organizations being registered as a nurse or registered with the IDPH. Um, nurse, nursing positions are um, always in need, um, especially these days. So we have um, quite a few different nursing positions, um, both full-time and part-time. Most of our nursing um, shifts are all 12 hour shifts. So a part-time position is 24 hours in the week and a full-time position is gonna be um, 36. Um, so that's with the, for nursing. Um, we also have a lot of different tech, tech positions that we hire, patient care tech, which is also equivalent to kind of a CNA. Um, we have medical assistants that are also in the uh, physician clinics. I have a, a pretty good need for medical assistants right now. Um, and both a surgical techs, so those are a little bit harder to staff and they usually require kind of an education and um, a surgical technology program. Um, some of the surrounding community colleges do offer those um, those programs um, and you, you can become certified out of one of those schools. So um, that's a need for us right now, an OB tech, which is also similar to the surgical tech. It's just more the scrubbing um, kind of in that, you know, mother baby unit. Um, we also have a need for respiratory therapists, medical technologists, phlebotomists, ultrasound techs, a um, lot of different techs um, in those different positions. Um, most of these positions really we're looking for people that have a very flexible schedule um, that they're looking to um, really be a part of the community and help those in need in our community. Um, great customer service skills and yes on the resumes please um, update your resume have a current um, dates of employment are really important as well. Um, as far as kind of um, benefits and wages so for the nursing, um, we kind of start at 28 and go up from there based on your experience. Um, as far as um, some of the tech positions, we start at 1450 and then we go up. And that'll be depending on what kind of tech. Um, a lot of the technicians are at different levels and then you also kind of look at your um, years of experience and education. Um, the benefits, we again offer part-time benefits and full-time benefits, have a great package, medical, dental, vision, flexible spending accounts. Um, we also offer tuition assistance and also discounts um, to use our health care in the system. Um, so I think that's all I have. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Julianne. And again, I want to thank all our presenters. We are actually right on time, so that's wonderful. Uh, this is the part where we do uh, questions and answers, and we're taking some questions uh, on screen, and I'll, I'll try to read through them. You know, there's so many reasons that this pandemic is uh, making life difficult. One of the things I know is it's hard looking for a position um, without having the face-to-face -face contact. I know personally when we have these gatherings, uh, whether it was at Oakton or at, uh, up in Zion or wherever we've done them, uh, the chance to meet face-to-face -face is, is really important. Uh, my, my one thought is, and, and I know that uh, we put some of the websites on and, and we've got the, the uh, links uh, to go see these companies to try to get that um, connection, please reach out. And I'm going to have to read questions, whereas normally we'd be able to talk, talk in person. So uh, I will do my best reading the questions that we have. But if you have other ones, uh, please don't hesitate to reach out. Uh, you can reach our office anytime at schneider.house.gov or 847-383-4870. Uh, my, my first question, and I'm going to make the assumption just because of some of the things discussed that we'll start with Baxter. The question is, are there remote positions for the customer service representatives? And uh, 
So, um, Kendra, I, I'll start with you. Hi, can you hear me? I hear you. Awesome. So our customer service positions are currently remote. Um, once it's safe to go back in office, um, it will be an in-house position with the um, ability to do a rotational work from home. Great. And uh, any of the other companies doing customer service positions, if you want to jump in, feel free to speak up. Okay, I'm going to move to the, the next question. Uh, and, and this one is for Aparna at, at Abbott. Uh, you mentioned contract workers uh, as a, a distinct from the permanent workers, maybe as a precursor, but do contract workers get any benefits? Yes, they do. Um, we work with our uh, vendors such as Tapson and any contract workers will be built to, to them and will be eligible for the benefits under them. Okay. Uh, great, thank you. Uh, the the next question, um, Rachel, I guess this is for you at Advocate. Uh, are there examples of jobs you're recruiting for and are any of those uh, remote positions? Yeah, so right now we're really focusing on um, certified nursing assistants, um, certified medical assistants, housekeeping and food and nutrition opportunities. We do have some remote opportunities as well. Um, it's just it's, it's hard not looking at an individual's resume and not knowing what type of position they're looking for. So if sure. someone is looking for a remote work, they definitely can reach out to me individually and we can speak about those opportunities. But we're, we're really focusing on the um, hospital roles first. Great, thank you. And, and the next question, this one's for me and I'll, I'll throw it out broadly. Um, I know for a lot of young people, uh, whether it's people who came out during the financial crisis were starting to get their career underway and, and knocked sideways by the, the pandemic or people who are, are just finishing school now and starting, you know, the, one of the reasons I was excited about this, um, this session in particular today on healthcare is because there's so many opportunities in health, healthcare. Uh, just, I did a quick search within my, um, my town, Deerfield, within 50 miles on Indeed, just one of the websites, there's more than 3,500 healthcare positions. Uh, Soliant uh, says that the careers, I looked up careers for demand in the future, healthcare careers include med techs, physical therapists, home care, uh, primary care doctors, and nurses. Uh, Business Insider had an article in June on the 30 best jobs, and, and of those, more than a quarter were in the healthcare field. So there, there's a uh, a sense that healthcare is a, a place to build a career for for young people earlier in, early in their career or just starting out, um, you know, and, and maybe we can go in order. And I'll start with you, Sean. Uh, the order we went. Uh, are there positions that are great career starters that you're looking for uh, at Walgreens? And, and Sean, you're still on. Yeah, there you go. Yep. All right. Sorry, I just step out real quick there, I apologize. Okay, no, I, I was just asking in general, as someone starting their career, there are positions uh, at Walgreens that, are, that you're looking for that are good entry-level positions. Uh, as far as entry-level goes, I mean, you can start out as, a, it depends on what you're looking for in your career. Uh, so I myself started as a manager in training. Uh, I was looking for obviously a leadership position, but we have different positions where, uh, you know, someone that's looking to be a pharmacist, I could start as a pharmacy technician uh, and then go to school to become a pharmacist. And there's intern positions we offer too. Uh, once they get into pharmacy school, they can continue to work with us and uh, they drop right into that pharmacist position. And then a lot of from there, you can go to pharmacy manager. Uh, we have some of our pharmacy managers that become district managers or healthcare supervisors. Uh, really, the sky's the limit. And wherever you want to go to Walgreens is, is, is possible. Um, it's a lot of it. I mean, obviously, to be a pharmacist, you got to have a degree there. Um, degree isn't. Is we always want one, but uh, necessarily don't have to have one to be a leader with Walgreens. Got it. Wonderful. How about at Baxter, Kendra? We lost, you were unmuted and muted. There you go. Oh, we lost you again. We, 
We can hear our you customer now. service positions are great um, entry level starting positions along uh, along with our technician positions. Super, and uh, I'm just gonna go through the list. So, um, Aparna, how about at at Abbott? It depends on the experience and the education um, that you bring to the table. So, if you're looking, if you're if you are a high school diploma graduate and looking for entry level positions, what we talked about um, today, like PS ones. Uh, production specialist one or maintenance technicians, those are good starting points. Uh, we do hire for all levels of positions. And if you're specifically looking for permanent roles, I would definitely encourage you to go to our career website. Um, and we do have roles posted there for full-time employment uh, where, you, where you require maybe zero to um, one or two years of experience. Great, great. And uh, Rachel, what about an advocate? What are you, do you guys have any um, entry or early career type positions? Yeah, definitely. You can start your career when you're actually in high school. Um, so we have food and nutrition assistance. We have um, housekeeping opportunities, admin opportunities, and then um, you know you could become certified through our tuition assistance. Maybe it's as a certified nurse leading assistant, et cetera. So um, some of our managers have started in a food and nutrition opportunity. And then with the tuition assistance, moved into, you know, a certified nursing assistant role, then went back to nursing school and are now managers and directors. So, um, yes, we definitely have entry-level roles. Okay. And, and how about Sedgebrook, Cedrica? Does Sedgebrook have any similar positions? Yes. Um, I mean, we have housekeeping positions available and we've already because uh, we just recently hired a housekeeper someone's been promoted into another position so there's opportunity for growth um, you know we have caregiving positions available so a lot of our caregivers are also moving up into being CNAs or some of our CNAs one of our CNAs just recently got their uh, certification to be an LPN so I mean we've have we have plenty of positions here available if you're looking to move up in your career well, great and, and what about Juliana at Vista Yes, so um, a good entry level positions, especially if you're kind of a new grad from a medical assistant program, we have a lot of opportunities there. Also like a CNA program, um, we have patient care techs that we take like new grads from those areas. Um, as far as like food, nutrition, environmental services and housekeeping, we definitely have those positions. However, um, they are through our contracted services Airmark. So if um, individuals are interested in those kind of jobs, they would apply through Airmark, and I would go, uh, recommend going to their website, airmark.com. Got it. And uh, while I've got you, Julianne, don't go away. Um, I've got another question. Someone's asking, are you taking phlebotomy students for internships and clinicals? Yeah, so we do have um, some different schools that we work with. I would have to check which schools that we have contracts with um, and check with the recruiter that oversees that area. So um, if there's a way I can get back to everybody on that, I will certainly check. Great. And then I guess the last question, I'll turn it over to um, Eva to talk about the Job Center of Lake County. But um, uh, this is one that came in uh, from the audience, but also I, I'm thinking about it. I was at the doctor yesterday. It's just astounding to me how electrical, el electronic medical records are, are advancing and moving forward. Um, and it's, it's not just in, in medical practices, I'm sure it's hospitals and, and others. Any of the companies are you look, looking for medical billing or coding positions? So uh, this is Julianne again from Vista. I'll comment on that. Um, that is another area where we contract those services. So we may have some positions out there and individuals who are interested will probably want to go to R1. Um, R1 is, a, a, I think, a global um, organization, organization that um, hires those kind of positions. And I think it's literally um, like R, the number one, dot com. And then they would kind of probably drill down to the Waukegan area. Great. All right, well, well, thank you. Again, let me thank everyone for asking questions and, and all the folks for joining us. Um, this has been very informative. I wanna turn it over now to um, Eva Locke to talk about the Job Center of Lake County. Fantastic, thank you. Uh, so I'm going to um, share with you our Job Center website. Uh, so at the moment, the job center is not open, but we are pro 
working actively with individuals. We're available via our telephone, email, and then I'm going to be showing you four virtual tools that are available to you. Uh, listen carefully because the last virtual tool uh, involves dollars that where we may be able to fund you for training. The Job Center of Lake County is a one-stop shop for your career transition and training needs and is operated by a consortium including Lake County Workforce Development, the Illinois Department of Employment Security, and the College of Lake County. Our mission is to connect employers and the workforce to fuel economic growth and well being in Lake County. We are part of the American Job Center system. Our website is lakecountyjobcenter.com. At the bottom of our homepage, and I'll scroll down here you will see all of our social media websites. Our um, communication team has been very actively posting information about jobs, careers, companies, and also um, just social service services within the community on uh, all of our social media. Pick your social media platform, please follow us and you'll get plenty of information. Now I'm going to show you today and I've also posted this link in the chat box, but if you enter our website and then click on job seekers, you will be able to see all four of our virtual tools that we have developed to help you out with your job search. I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and work my way up on this list of tools. We have developed a job opportunities page. Local employers have been contacting our business service team members throughout the crisis regarding ongoing hiring needs. When you go to our visit our job opportunities page, you'll see a selection of jobs vetted by the business service team. You can also upload your resume here for consideration for a paid internship or a job referral. Next is our, a link to our calendar of events. We have a robust menu of online workshops uh, coming up next month in September on topics including your skills and interests relevant to your career, job search during a rough market, and your personal brand and resume. We are also co-hosting a disability job fair next month. You'll find these events and more on our calendar. Then we have um, the self-directed five steps to your next job. We've developed a job search curriculum to help you conduct a more effective job search in less time. We divided the entire job search process into five sequential steps or modules. Visit the self-directed five steps at whatever time works best for you to read our top tips, watch videos, and download handouts regarding how to make your tra career transition more effective. Especially if you have not looked for work recently, the job search process really has changed dramatically. I encourage you to invest some time in yourself by going through the self-directed five steps so that um, you can land a better job more quickly. And then the last tool is the virtual information session. This is the tool that involves some, some potential dollars for you. Lake County Workforce Development administers a training grant under the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act, that's also called WIOA. We can pay up to $7,000 or in the case of medical training, we can pay up to $10,000 for qualified job seekers to complete training to help them transition jobs or advance their career within their industry. You, you heard the employers talking about some job titles like phlebotomy, LPN, medical billing and coding. We funded people for that. We also have funded people for things like CDL truck driving, project, project management certification, and a variety of IT certificates. You start at the virtual information session. Once you click into that, you'll watch a slideshow about the job center and then fill out a WIOA pre-screening application. A staff member will call you within 24 business hours regarding your next steps. 
please take advantage of this opportunity. We've seen so many people um, really develop new careers. Often um, they will tell us after a job loss, they'll say, you know, this was devastating, but I'm so happy that I had this chance to retrain for a new field. Okay, I'm gonna turn this over now to David. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is uh, David Garvey with SIU, and I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about Get Hired Illinois, but I also want to let you know that today's session is being recorded and will be available on the employer booth page in our virtual job fair area for each of the employers who have presented today. And the links to the employer booth pages have been shared in the chat. Uh, as for Get Hired Illinois, this can be, uh, this website here on the screen can be reached by entering illinois.gov slash get hired. And Get Hired Illinois is a web portal that has been designed to connect job seekers with available job and career training opportunities across the state of Illinois. And from this landing page, uh, job seekers can search for job postings uh, through Illinois Job Link, which is this page here. And uh, with the Illinois WorkNet Virtual Job Fair tool, uh, job seekers can find which employers in Illinois are hiring by looking at their employer booth page. And you can also see uh, upcoming events, virtual job fair events by clicking on the VJF events button here and seeing a calendar view of those events. And additionally, this online training opportunities page will take you to a page about Coursera and Illinois has partnered with Coursera to offer free online IT or information technology training courses. And these courses are free to register for and complete. However, you must register for these courses before the end of September and complete the courses by the end of this year. And there's more information about how to uh, access these uh, training opportunities on this page. Um, and finally, um, there are also links for job seekers to apply for unemployment insurance and access additional resources through this page. Um, and I would just like to point out that all the resources that have been mentioned in this webinar are free to use for job seekers and will be accessible through this Get Hired Illinois page well beyond this week's events. Um, with that, we will go ahead and close out for this afternoon. I do wanna give Congressman Schneider an opportunity to share any final remarks. Uh, thank you, David. Um, and let me just thank everyone who's participating in this, to all the folks who joined us uh, to learn about these companies. Uh, we're glad you're here, and, and hopefully this was helpful. To the companies, the seven companies who joined us today, uh, Walgreens, Baxter International, Abbott, Advocate Healthcare, Sedgebrook, Vista Healthcare Systems, thank you uh, for being a part of this. To SIU, Southern Illinois University, uh, Job Center of Lake County, uh, and the Illinois Department of uh, uh, Employment Security. Everyone who made this possible, I want to thank all of you. We have another session tomorrow, Thursday, and one finally on Friday. I hope you can join us for that as well. And with uh, that, no further ado, um, let me remind people you can access the Get Hired Illinois page. It's, it's in the chat marks, and uh, glad you could be a part of this. Take care, everybody. Be safe. Stay healthy.